everyone and welcome to daily newspaper analysis for 1st September 2021. This analysis has been brought to you by Law Seco. Let's see what article we'll be discussing today. So we have only one article today, which is from the Hindu newspaper. It is titled as it's time to build bricks better. So basically this talks about the association of bricks. What is it and why are we talking about rebuilding the bricks again has been discussed in this article. This article uh, will be presented and it will be analyzed by me. My name is Sheva Khan. I am a law graduate and I had completed my law degree from Uttaranchal University with a gold medal in my batch. I also have been a national debater and a public speaker. And at Law Seco here, I'm working as the manager for Current Affairs Vertical. If you wish to connect with me, you can find me on my Twitter as well as LinkedIn handles, the links to which are available in the description box below. So let's see what is the multiple choice question from yesterday's discussion. In which of the following cases, the Supreme Court held offense of adultery as unconstitutional? Your options are Joseph Shine versus Union of India, Navtej Singh Johar versus Union of India, Nalsa versus Union of India, or none of the above. You can put down your answer in the comment section below. This is the descriptive question for the day. Suggest the different measures for making bricks more effective and better. So uh, when we talk about the article, making bricks better, so the 13th BRICS Summit is set uh, to be held on September 9th in a digital format under the chairmanship of India. So basically, India would be the host for the 13th BRICS Summit. So India also chaired it in 2012 and 2016. So currently, BRICS represent about 42% of a world's population as a two most populous countries of the world, China on the first and second India. Both are a, you know, a part of the BRICS. 30% of the land area, 24% of the global GDP and 16% of the international trade. So we can easily say and assume here that the BRICS is a very, very important international body as it has a real significance, whether in terms of population, area, GDP and even the international trade. Please remember that the participants or the members of the BRICS are five. B for Brazil, R for Russia, I for India, C for China and S for South Africa. So here we have the top four priorities for India for this 13th summit, which we'll be hosting. Firstly, we need to pursue the reform of multilateral institutions ranging from the United Nations, World Bank, the International Monetary Fund to the World Trade Organization and the World Health Organization, through which we would may try to make sure that all of these most important international bodies, they can work together in coherence and that all of these have their multilateral uh, you know, uh, functions coming up and they're reforming to the best of the performance and also doing the best for these countries, specifically the members of the BRICS. Secondly, to resolve to combat terrorism currently affecting Europe, Africa, Asia and other parts of the world, of course, for that. And the BRICS is also crafting the BRICS counter terrorism action plan containing specific measures to fight uh, radicalization, terrorist funding and misuse of the Internet by, inter in the, by the terrorist groups. For that, as you also know, that we also have uh, the... Um, a group, uh, the international group, uh, you know, FATF, which is the Financial Action Task Force, which actually counters, uh, you know, uh, money laundering and the terrorism at the International Forum. And similarly, even for BRICS, they have taken it as a priority this time. And finally, for BRICS as a whole, they would be focusing at promoting technological and digital solutions for the sustainable development goals and expanding people to people cooperation. Now, as we know that the United Nations had its own sustainable development goals, which are called as the SDGs, which are 17 in number and they had to be accomplished by 2030. They have to be accomplished. So India and all the other members also of the BRICS are also from a series of that. And we are all striving to complete these uh, sustainable development goals. So we would, in, as a brick as a whole, we have been focusing to promote technological and digital solutions. But here there are some multiple challenges also which the BRICS would be facing or is facing currently as well. First is China's economic rise has created serious imbalance within the BRICS. Now, see, obviously, when we talk about the membership, so there has to be cooperation. There has to be somewhat equality amongst the members also. If one member becomes vulnerably weak or one member becomes, you know, supremely strong, that actually reduces or hampers the balance. And that is the case which is happening with the China's economic rise. Due to this, guys, what can happen is that the power that China might have, the decision making power of China might increase over the other members and thus in such situations the other four members might come or fall at a disadvantage. Secondly, China's aggressive policies against India 
put BRICS solidarity under exceptional strain. Now, a very big example of this is the CPEC, which is the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. So this was basically an economic collaboration where a complete route uh, using uh, the park-occupied Kashmir area was has been built by China, which it uh, is gets connected to Pakistan. So this definitely is against the integrity of India and, you know, the territorial integrity as well, because this was an absolutely without the permission of India. Second example was even, you know, when we talk about the China-India standoff as well, wherein China was not seen to be really a friend of India. And thus, these aggressive policies actually put India against China in such situations. Lastly, the BRICS countries have not done enough to assist the global South to win their optimal support for their agendas. And that is why we need to be more assured of what our goals and aims are and that we are not only benefiting these five member nations only, rather with our own benefit, we should be able to benefit the entire of South Asia for that matter. So this was all for the day. Uh, we hope you liked the session. And uh, thank you so much for catching up with us. And do not forget to uh, have a look at the podcast uh, for the same uh, video analysis, uh, which uh, would be available at Spotify, Google, Anchor, as well as Apple Podcast. Also, if you wish to download the PDF of today's slides or want to avail other study material like uh, current affairs, uh, newsletters, quizzes, etc., you can take part in our Telegram channel. Uh, the link to the channel is available in the description box below, or you can scan the QR code that you can see right here. Also, do not forget to follow us on our official Instagram channels for Lossi Khujri Shri, CLAT, as well as UGC Net if you're preparing for any of these exams. Thank you so much.